So a good way for you to fill in your shapes completely with water uh, or with color is to wet the shape first with water and uh, what that does is it wets the paper and gets the paper ready to absorb and hold on to the color that you're going to put down. So get it really wet and then go ahead and wet your cell that you're going to, to paint with and add that color to the shape that you're wanting to color. And uh, you can see that that water that's already on that paper is going to spread it out and just make it either fade gently if you want it to um, have two different colors or going from one color to white. Uh, that's a good way to do it just because the paper's already wet that, that uh, water is going to draw the color into it or it's just going to spread it out nice and gently which is what we're doing here. So the shape is now solid green and as it dries that water is going to still work until it's totally dry but it should be all one solid color. So as you begin thinking about the second color that you're going to put down, if the color um, that you're putting down is next to an area that's wet, you have to be really careful because as soon as you touch that wet color, those colors are going to, um, to play with each other. It's going to bleed in to the other color that's right next to it. So if the paint is wet, then you need to be really careful um, if you don't want those colors to mix. So you can leave a little bit of a space between the two colors if you want to do that. That's one of the fun things about watercolors that it can be pretty loose. Um, you don't have to be totally precise and you can have a lot of fun with it. Um, so just be careful when you're putting two colors together. You can either uh, let one of those colors dry um, before you start adding that second color or you can risk it and see what happens. And actually I think the, the effects that happen when those two colors mix as they cauliflower out, as they bleed together, uh, can be pretty, pretty cool. So the question is, what happens when you make a mistake? You can actually somewhat fix it. Use your brush as an eraser and try to fix it by dabbing at it and rolling it back and forth and getting that water to um, just pull up into the brush and the mistake should go away. Might not completely erase, but at least it'll be light enough so that you can maybe add another color next to it or over it and try to fix that mistake.